hi everyone welcome to a new video in this video we are going to talk about MAMO limitations of MAMO and where we have to avoid using MAMO and I'll make sure this will be our last video on this topic so we'll cover MAMO in depth so first we'll cover a problem statement then we'll see how MAMO comes to rescue so without wasting any time let's get started so I have created one demo application. In this application, we have two input fields, one for the name and the second for the description. For the name input field, we have the name state and for the description input field, we have the description state. We have one more component, the user info, in which we are passing the name state. If I open the user info component, we are trying to simulate some kind of heavy operation here and in the return we are rendering the name and doing some heavy operation here let's open the UI in the name field if I enter my name you can see in the expensive result the values are changing same if I enter anything in the description field the value of expensive results are changing but there is no change in the my name my name is as it is so first let's understand the flow of our application as soon as i type anything in the name field or in the description field the set state of that field triggered and this set state renders my app component and when my app component renders the user info component will also render and the responsibility of user component is to display the name whatever i am typing so this is the default behavior of react whenever the parent components render the child component will also re render now the problem here is my user info component is directly related to the name field but it is not related to this description field now if i delete anything in this field you can see my expensive results value are changing so this may slow down my application in react we call it unnecessary rendering because i am changing the description field and the user info component is independent of this description field so whenever i am typing anything here this particular component should not re-render so how can we achieve it what if if we do something that whenever my name state changes then only i want to render this user info component otherwise I do not want to render this user info component for this MAMO comes to rest so MAMO will do the same thing it will compare the previous props and the new props and anything changes then it will render the component otherwise it will not render the component so in our case if the name state changes then only it will render the component otherwise it will not render the components MAMO has two syntax so let's see one by one First we'll explore the first syntax. So here I'll call the MAMO and I'll pass the user info component in the MAMO and this MAMO is coming from the React library. Now let's check the behavior of our application. Let me refresh it. Now I'll enter my name. So my expensive results are calculating again and this is expected but when I'm entering anything in the description nothing is changing in the UI now my expensive result is not calculating again so this will stop the unnecessary rendering in my react application let's explore the second syntax of the MAMO where first I have to remove this on the top we can cut our component from here and call the MAMO here and pass our complete code in this memo let's check the UI let me refresh it if I enter anything in the name my expensive results are calculating again and when I'm typing anything in the description nothing is happening so that's what we wanted so memo takes two arguments first is the component and the second one is a function let's see the second argument I'll switch back to the old syntax now the first argument is our component and the second argument is a function 
So this function accepts two parameter. One is the previous props and the second one is the next props. First let's console this props. So I'll enter here previous props and the next props. Let me refresh. Now if I enter my name, you can see in the previous prop, we are getting the old value and in the new props, we are getting the new value. So usually you don't have to pass this particular function. Memo will compare everything internally. But if you want to take the command of the comparison, then you can introduce this particular function. Now here, if I check previous props dot name is triple equal to next props dot name. Then I have to return it. So now you need to understand one thing that if this particular function returns true, then in that particular case, our component will not re-render. And if this particular function return false in that particular case, memo will render this component. So let's check our theory. Let me add my name. So you can see expensive results are calculating. If I enter description here, my expensive results are not calculating again. What if I put a not equal to here? Let's check the UI. Let me refresh here. If I enter anything in the description, now you can see my expensive results are recalculating again. So this is how function works. So mostly you don't have to use this particular function. This is just for your information. Even React also don't recommend you to use this particular function every time. Let me delete this. Now let's talk more about Mamo that how it compares the previous props and the new props. So for that it uses the is method from the object. Let's check the syntax. So it will use this method object dot is. So by understanding this method, we will get the in-depth knowledge of the Mamo. So if I have passed two values, one is three and the second one is four. So these two values are not equal. So it will return the false. And if I pass the same value, in this case, it will return the true. If I pass a string, my name here, and the same name I'll pass in the second argument, it will return true. Now, if I don't pass the same name, then it is returning false. So this is only for the primitive types. Under the primitive, we have the strings, boolean numbers. What about the non-primitives? So let's check. So let me pass here two empty objects in the first argument as well. So it is returning me false. But if I pass two empty strings, then it is returning me true. But if I pass two arrays now, then still it is returning me false. What if I inject some values here and the same values? Still it is returning me false. So let's quickly cover the difference between primitive and the non-primitive to understand why we are getting the false here. So let's take an example. We have declared a variable primitive and in this variable we are assigning a string. Now when the JavaScript engine executes our program and it encounter this variable. Every variable is stored inside a memory location. So when it sees the variable, it goes to the memory location 011 and in the 011, it will found the string Aman and it will return the same string here. But in the case of non-primitive, whenever our JavaScript engine encounter this particular variable, it will get an address and when it reaches to the address, it will get an another address instead of our value. Now when it goes to this address, then it will get our object. So that means in JavaScript, non-primitive data type does not directly stores the value, it stores the reference of that particular value. So our non-primitive variable stores the reference of our object or an array. 
so this is how the non primitive data types work in our example we are trying to compare two empty arrays or two empty objects so whenever we compare two objects or two arrays we don't compare the values instead we compare the references so that's why we are getting the false because we are comparing two different references so here if i have to show you internally it is checking two references so for this array the reference is a034 and for this array the reference can be a035 so that's why this will always give us false now you will ask aman why are you telling this because our first limitation of mamo comes from here let's check our first limitation now i will create an empty array that is test and i will pass this empty array in our component so i will pass the test here let's check the ui first i refresh this and if i enter anything in the description you can see our expensive results are recalculating again same if i enter my name it's recalculating again so our memo is not working let's find out the reason whenever i am typing anything in the name field or in the description field it will render this particular component because it is setting the state whenever i am saying the component rendering so that means all this code will rerun again so in the first render the value of test may be a032 and in the second render react will assign the second reference a033 similarly when i'm typing the third letter it will render the component and it will assign the new reference a034 every time whenever my component is rendering this test will get new references and as we have seen the object dot is method is not able to compare two non primitive data types whether it is array or object so that's why this user info component is re-rendering again we have the solution for this react provides us one hook use memo so by using use memo we can solve this particular problem will not cover the use memo here for that i'll create a separate video and for that you have to click on the subscribe button so that whenever the new video came out you will get notified now let's jump to our second limitation so i'll remove this test from here and from here as well i'll create a function const handle change and i am creating as an arrow function here now i'll pass the handle change into this user info component let's check the ui first i'll refresh this if i try to enter name expensive results are calculating if i enter the description we are getting the same problem our user info component is rendering again and the reason is the same because of the reference issue object dot is method is unable to compare the function as well so for that react provides another hook that is use callback and with the help of use callback we are able to solve this particular problem so for that as well i'll create a separate video so these are the limitations of memo now we have to discuss where we have to avoid using memo so in the user info components we are trying to simulate some kind of heavy operation what if if i remove all these kind of heavy operations from here whenever i am saying heavy operation that can be anything so for example we have an array that contains 5000s object okay and we are trying to filter two objects from that array of 5000 object so this is one of the example of the heavy operations so i'll remove this from here now this user info component is only responsible to render my name so in this particular case i will not use the memo okay so let's understand with a simple example you are at home and you are feeling hungry so you open some food delivery app now there are two cases if the restaurant from where you are ordering is 5 kilometers away so in that particular case the delivery charge is 40 you will try to prefer ordering from the food delivery app but what if 
the restaurant is only 300 meters from your home and the delivery charge is same so in that particular case cost of delivery is more similarly here as well memo comes with a cost so whenever the app component renders memo always compare the name prop and that comparison comes with a cost and this particular cost is similar to our second example that my restaurant is 2 meters away and the cost of delivery is 40 rupees so in that particular case we can avoid using memo but in our previous example we are doing heavy operations so the cost of heavy operation is more than the cost of comparing two props it is similar to our first example my restaurant is 5 kilometers away and my delivery cost is less so I'll prefer to use the memo here so this is how you have to make decision where you have to use memo and where you have to avoid so that's it for this video we have covered almost everything about the memo that's it I hope you like this video and if you have reached till here then please subscribe this channel and like the video I'll see you in the next video thank you for watching this video